to programming tools. My name is Sarah and in today's video I'll be teaching you how to call on Python to ask for your name, surname and age. Before we get started, make sure to grab a notebook or a cup of tea and let's get into it. So I'll be using Idle which is the main thing used for coding on Python. If you still don't have Python and you want to install it, make sure to check the link in the description box where we installed, installed Python on Mac and Windows as well as explain what is idle, what, what does it do and what does it stand for. Alright, let's open idle. We can search for Python. As you guys can see, this is called the Python Shell, and this is where we'll be doing all our work. So let's get started. The first you have to type first underscore name equal to. So here you can like type any name you want. Your name, your mother, your father. I'm gonna type my name. And uh, if you start with a double quotation, you should end with a double quotation. Or if you start with a single quotation, you should end with a with a single quotation. So first, I'm gonna uh, so I'm gonna type my name. My name is Sarah. And if you didn't you type your name capital and press the enter key, um, it will say for you that a syntax error that is wrong. And then you have to write surname. Here you have to write any name you want. I'm gonna write Anas. Right. And then age. In age, you can write any number you want 20, 30. I'm gonna write 11. And then you have to type string. String underscore text equal to quotation and then so these are called placeholder so what does a placeholder means I'm going to see for you what does a placeholder means. A placeholder means is to tell Python who is used to tell Python Python where to insert the value the value of the variable of the variables. So right now we're gonna type P is old check. And right, right now we're gonna we're gonna type uh, print shift string underscore text percentage and then. And then we're gonna type paste underscore name and then comma and then we have to type surname comma and then age. So so in string uh, we we store like um, in in string we store letters, numbers, address, and in programming language, a text is also called string. So right now, when we press the entry key, it's gonna say your name and your um, age. So one, two, three. Oh wow, it said Sarah Anis is 11 years old. That's amazing, and I'm 11 years old. That was very cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. Make sure to like and subscribe to join our family as well as turning the notification bell on to get notified every time we upload a new video. Keep programming, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.